So how do you put a frequency in time? Oh, wonderful. Easy, just like, you know, you sing, you dance, mm -hmm. you give them prayers. Mm -hmm. That's your frequency. You don't have to always hear a frequency. It can be felt too. Most people don't know it. They go somewhere and the mood changes. They don't have to really hear it. They see the mood. Oh, that person looks like he mm. uh -huh. Frequencies. And that's basically what this does. But Here with Aisha Rock of Smy Pharmacy. And she's been taking us through everything about Health. Holistic health. Yes. So we just talked about the app that she uses to aid in how she prescribes or recommends different herbs and essential oils. Am That's I correct in that? That's correct, yes. Cool. So what were you working on right here? Right here I was about to prep to make some capsules. So I make um, the King Chi capsules for the men. men. It say on here, men only, not boys. And so I'm preparing to make King Chi capsules and Bay capsules. These are like the number two sellout as well, um, besides our um, Infinity Complex and our Irish Moss. So I was preparing to at least make a few of these prior to coming in. And I may just, you know, do a little bit and I have some tea preparing as well. Okay, so maybe while you're making that, we can chat with you a little bit. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, so um, for me, how it got started, my journey started when my mother transitioned about six years ago now, six years ago, and I just needed a way to at least ground myself. I'm not sure what I was searching for. It was more so uh, spiritual, like let's let's just find something that balance you. You know, you're tired of crying. Um, what can heal you spiritually right now? And one thing that my grandmother kept saying is, you need to go back to church, you need to go back to church. And it was like, I'm not finding that my peace there. I find more of me being discomfort. Like, I feel like I wasn't belonging there. And what I did was start um, going outside, standing in the grass. Just standing in the grass. I, I knew always that I was doing um, fitness. I came into it doing fitness, health and fitness. But after my mother transitioned, it, it took a turn for my mental. So I stood in the grass for a couple of moments. Um, I didn't I didn't do much meditating then. It was just like, let me just stand here. And then I was like, I feel actually better out here. And I said, you know what? And no, it was something that was behind me, the, uh, the flowers. My grandmother grew uh, like rose bushes. And the scent of that was like taking a little bit of the anxiety away, not knowing that. Um, I probably say this all the time, but the smell was pleasant to my mind, my body. And I said, you know what, I need to grow some more um, roses. I put some more rose bushes up here. I think I need to do that. And that's how I started. I started uh, gardening. Farming became my life. Um, yeah, I, I started doing rose bushes. I started with mint. I started with rosemary and lavender. All of those that was like refreshing and would smell good. So even like with being in this business for about 10 years now, where do you see it growing from where you are now? I see it growing into its own, like how this is a wellness center, but mm -hmm. more so like a hospital, a holistic mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, my goal is to be able to help assist the babies. I'm about to start my midwifery classes with Nana Siti. So always, even when I went to college, I went for nursing. I went for nursing, but didn't find my place in that school for nursing, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. It's like, I want to go for this, but. This is not how I want to take the approach for nursing. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's why I see it going more so holistic hospital, um, birthing more um, healthier babies and helping the mommies. Like that's been my thing since I found out that I was able to have a midwife and the postpartum care was beautiful. I was like, we need this. Well, you also yeah. spoke about energy, and like right when you said that, I started to like look around the rooms. I'm like, I just noticed like even the feeling is different. So where did this like energy come from? Mm -hmm. the, the idea of this room. Right. What does it mean? Yeah. Ooh, wonderful! I love it. Okay, the idea. It was it was definitely some meditating because everybody else downstairs had something that was like 
Woo, you cold come from downstairs. She's like, I feel like I'm in Africa and I feel like I'm in Costa Rica. <laughs> so I wanted to basically capture a sunset image. Mm -hmm. I visualized like, what is a sunset? And how do you feel in a sunset? And then I Googled the colors. And I'm like, let me see the sunset. And then let me break, take the colors out of mm -hmm. that palette from the sunset and make it feel like the room since it was small and cozy. You know, it wasn't an oversized room. So with the blue, um, like the toy course is called tantalizing teal. I said, oh, tantalizing teal. When you say the name, it's like, okay, I feel good. Like, how can I feel in this? I feel serene. I feel like if I cut the lights off, it won't be too harsh on me. And tantalizing teal, teal always been my color. Hibiscus is one that I will start off with. Um, rose hemp tea is good for vitamin C and inflammation. You want to make sure you're doing some antivirals as well. So some bitters. Oh, I have some nettles here too. So my nettles is high in chlorophyll and I love it. It's like stinky nettles. This is also can grow. This is called, what I'll say, God's manner. So it grows without you even having to do anything. So stinky nettle is one. Um, Red clover is another one that helps with the blood, cleansing out the blood. I just ran out of the road, uh, red clover. Um, chlorophyll, anything that's um, basically green, the chlorophyll, like you know, spirulina. I just said about the nettle is high in chlorophyll. Um, oh, here we go. I don't know yet. Usually it has a chlorophyll. It smells like a, uh, can't really smell it through the camera, but it's like a, <laughs> it's a, a, you know, a little different smell for it, but it's, it's something that you can take, but you do like this, but it's just it's just almost like a sea taste but not too much a sea sea smell So basically it's just, it's depending on the baby and the mom. But it's also for, it's an anti-viral. So that's one that's in the anti-viral. It's in one of my things. <laughs> so, okay, so where can people find you? Is it social media, physical location? How can people get in touch with you? 
so you can um you can come to the ewe farm oasis building we are here on the third floor which is the 1800 jones world road sweet g7 because we fly and we here in atlanta but that's the name of my sweet g7 it's just divine numbers you know i'm good with numbers but um they can find us here in the ewe farm building third floor or they can follow us on social media all the platforms from youtube i have one explaining about the gardening and essential oils and how to blend your families with going through the going through the pandemic youtube page my pharmacy facebook instagram pinterest linkedin my pharmacy <laughs> Yep, and um, also you can contact me at 770-670-7780. That's our number here. And you can also email us at smypharmacy at gmail.com. So we're everywhere. Oh, website. You can't forget the website because we have a plethora of things on the website. It is smypharmacy.com. So that's S-M-A-I pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y.com.